Well, we're out in the Blue Mountain Birch Cove Lakes Wilderness Area. I'm with my daughter, Stephanie. I think you may have seen her in at least another one other video. And her puppy, Ruby, who's wandered around at her feet because she's so excited to, to be in the woods here. She's never been in this part of the wilderness before. Um, <laughs> I can't get her to sit still to, to get her in the video, but I will at some point. She's barking at shapes in the water. She's just having a wonderful time. So we're out here on a beautiful fall day to capture the height of the fall colors. <laughs> She's digging at the roots now. And uh, hopefully we'll have some lunch and some coffee and I'll be able to show you some of the fall colors here in Nova Scotia. <laughs> All right, Ruby. All right, folks, follow along. Beautiful day. This is not our destination, this is just our first stop along the way. Lots of color in the woods today. And Ruby found roots to be a fascinating thing. Won't she be a great bushcraft dog? Look at her digging up the roots. <laughs> yeah, I see you. Where's Ruby? Come on. Sit. Sit. Ah. What are you doing? We made our way down to the edge of the lake. Beautiful fall colors. And Ruby is having a great time chasing her ball in the lake. I think she's starting to get tired. She's been doing this for half an hour or so. So I have my nano stove set up on the rock here with alcohol. It was going to make a little wood fire, but uh, I just didn't want, we're hungry now. We've been hiking for a couple of hours and I wanted to stop and get some lunch on. So I decided to go with alcohol, wrap it up with a little windscreen. And on top, I'm using my Stanley Adventure cook kit. This is not the, the small one that most people carry. This is the coffee one. I have the coffee maker with me as well so that I after we have our lunch, we'll be able to make a pot of coffee. Rampage coffee, of course. And uh, lunch today is a happy yak meal for Steffi and I to share. It's a pad thai, vegetarian pad thai, so vegetable and peanut pad thai. And it's a big meal. I don't know if you can see the size of this bag, but half of it, half of it is 500 and 20 calories, holy, 530 calories. So needless to say, way too much for me to have by myself, but Steffi and I will share that uh, together. So it'll take a little while to get the water to a boil, so it's gonna take 500 milliliters of water added to this bag. I'll stir it up, I'll put it back in my lunch bag slash cozy, and uh, then we'll leave that aside 15, 20 minutes and uh, then we'll enjoy ourselves some lunch. In the meantime, we're just gonna play with the dog a little bit. I've gotta keep an eye on this, of course, but the dog is, is enjoying the water. And we'll enjoy that and bring you back. Okay, I think you get a lot of juice as well. Did you want some? I Yours? tried to put a little bit of mine, but... Uh... Did you give me the bigger serving? It's just the way it fell out, so if you wanna try and put a little juice in mine. Oh no, no, don't, don't you dare. Ah! <laughs> Ruby. Yeah. Yeah, I love you too. Get away from my lunch. Yeah. Yeah, you can smell the peanut butter. I gotta stand up, is right. Come on. Yeah. Hold it down. Jeez. <laughs> No. 
leave it. Uh, how is it? Good. Thought I'd come over and share the, what the pad tie looks like with you. Came with a nice little package of peanut butter that I was able to mix inside, and Steffi and I are sharing it. So just the tiniest bit of spiciness to it, as there should be with a good pad thai, but it all rehydrated perfectly in about 15, almost 20 minutes. Mm. And like all of the Happy Act meals, not a salty meal at all. Very nice, but wow. 520 calories for half a package? That's a big meal. All right, well, Steffi and I are enjoying this. Ruby is a little frustrated because her ball's in the water and she can't quite reach it. So we're going to have to eat quickly and get her ball back to her. And we'll pick you up a little later. So Steffi and I just finished a great lunch, that uh, Happy Ack Pad Thai. And I have to tell you, Happy Ack never disappoints. And now, mid-afternoon, huh? 2.30, okay. Time for some coffee. So I have my water. Just came to a boil on my... Yeah. Firebox Nano with my Trangia alcohol stove in it. Take it off of the boil, because for this I don't want the hotter water to be at full boil. Let's see if I can't put my stove out. There we go. And this is the inside cylinder part of the uh, Stanley coffee kit. And inside I have some pre-ground coffee. Now normally I like to bring my grinder with me, but to save a little time because this is a considerable amount of coffee, I'm making enough for the Steffi and I both to have at least one large cup or a cup and a little bit. So what I'll do, put the plunger part of it aside, bring this back into frame. Water's just off the boil. And of course, hey Ruby, hey sweetie. No Ruby, nothing here for you, it's just coffee. But camping with a dog is a whole new level of, especially a lab, is a whole new level of involvement. Pour the coffee in. Ground a little coarse, not as coarse as you might for a perk, but a little bit coarser than for a drip. This is French press coarse. Give it a stir. Ah, oh, the aroma. Nice bloom coming up on the coffee. And uh, I'll just put this lid on for a minute or two. Uh, on average French press, the idea is about three to four minutes of steep time, and then you plunger it through. So, continue to put things away. My Quixa with the Rampage Coffee symbol on it. Steffi and I both have our Uberlieben Durston Lower 12 Quixas. Yeah, so when that comes, to a steep, actually, what I'll do is I'll just uh, cut away and bring it back just as I go to plunger this. And we'll have some coffee. All right, let's plunger this coffee. So I do have another video, as I've mentioned before, where I've shown how this works. This is a plunger, and the, instead of a central post, the whole outside of the cylinder is the shaft for the plunger itself. But the mesh, or the, the filter, is on the bottom. And what's nice about this is once you push it down through the coffee, it creates like a double wall effect to keep your coffee warmer, longer. So just a nice slow push down through. Put the lid on. And this is ready to drink. Give Ruby any of this. She's wired she enough as she not is. Yeah. Need any. You're gonna lose your ball again. Hiking with a lab. This is she is so excited to be here. You wanna come back another time? She won't even sit still for a picture to be taken. Yeah, have some to eat. Yeah, that's it. So Steph and I are going to enjoy our coffee for a few minutes before we have to pack up. See if we can't keep Ruby entertained a little bit. 
and we'll see if we can't find some more fall colors to show you. What do you see, Steph? Beautiful color, yeah. And some uh, maples there. Funny how some of them turn red and some of them turn yellow. What do we got here? Looks like, looks like elm, maple, oak. Oak is, a lot of the oak is still green. I see oak on, leaves on well into the winter, sometimes all through the winter. Although some of them are changing. There's some red maple, very red. What else turns yellow this time of year? The aspens do. That looks like Elmer Beach over there. That looks like beach. Some uh, birch. It turns yellow. It's mostly the maples that turn red. All right. Ruby, what are you doing? What are you doing, Ruby? That was long enough, huh? Have a good day? Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. It was a good day, wasn't it? Ruby had a good day. Ruby is just one year old and she doesn't often get into the deep woods like we are. Well, we're not that deep in the woods. We're only a few kilometers into the wilderness area here. But this is a this has been an exciting day for Ruby. Just in case anybody's interested, Ruby is a golden lab no, she's black lab and golden retriever mix. She got all of her mother's color and all of her dad's Labrador looks. <laughs> but she's a water dog. She absolutely loves to be out in the woods here and and uh, enjoying it. What'd you think of lunch? It was delicious. Yeah. Did you ever have really a, a freeze-dried meal like that? Not like that one. That no? was really good. That was almost just like pad thai from a restaurant. Yeah, it was, wasn't mm -hmm. it? I, a lot of people find uh, those freeze-dried meals very salty. That one wasn't. No, it wasn't at all, no. That was one of the better Happy Yak meals that I've had. No, they've all been good. Some didn't cook up as easily as others. That one I was a little concerned about, but it cooked up perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a good meal. I'd recommend that one to anybody. Mm -hmm. And what are you eating, Ruby? That's my camera case. Ruby's all puppy. But, uh, oh, good day. How about coffee? Coffee was also really good. Yeah, 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 that was nice. Rampage coffee. Now, as you know, that's what I've been enjoying a lot lately is the Rampage coffee. Freshness counts, as I always say. But it's the end of the day. You can probably tell that we're <laughs> a little tired, but we very much enjoyed ourselves. So Ruby is uh, wants to keep going. She's going to sleep for a couple of days, I think, mm -hmm. as am I. All right, folks, that's all we have for you today. And if there's anything else of interest, we'll turn the camera back on. Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed the fall colors that we're able to show you today. We're due for a big rainstorm, so we might lose a lot of leaves in the next couple of days. But before long, we'll be back in the woods. And uh, so I guess it's up to you now to get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. <laughs> Bye for now. I hear you.